Hey, what is happening, Flustered Feebass? So today's video is only going to be a little bit different than how I normally do my deck profile videos. The only thing different is that my gameplay for this deck is going to be centered around how to execute a board lock in the Lost Zone Mirror Match. So you can hopefully take that knowledge and learn how to util utilize it against your Lost Zone Mirrors or how to not get board locked and then beaten in the Lost Zone Mirror because of that. So first, we're going to still go over the deck list and talk about it before we get into the action and you all can learn something about the Lost Zone Mirror. Um, so this is a build of Lost Box that I was working on the other day on the stream. An experimental build trying to just abuse Iron Valiant EX as much as I possibly could. So Iron Valiant EX, 220 HP, 200 damage with the Laser Blade for Psychic Psychic Colors. Then we can't attack during the next turn. And the Tachyon Bits, when it goes from the bench to our active, two damage counters on one of our opponent's Pokemon. So it helps a little bit with spread damage, and it is still a pretty reasonable heavy hitter. This is pretty similar to other builds of Lost Box that had the Raikou and the Dragonite in them, but like Iron Valiant becomes our heavy hitter, and with a little bit of extra damage spread from the Tachyon Bits, we open up some new cool lines of play around Sableye, and specifically the Technical Machine Devolution. I haven't actually gotten a ton of value out of the TM Devo, and I'm not sure if it needs to actually be in here. The deck felt pretty good, to be honest. Like Lost Box with the, the, the Iron Valiant felt pretty good. TM Devo, I'm not sure. I didn't play against many of the matchups where it's great. Um, I do have, I am going to have some gameplay up on the secondary YouTube channel where I also board locked a Chi and Pow deck. Um, so definitely go check that out. If you're trying to get a little bit more information on how to execute a board lock, go check out the gameplay against the Chi and Pow deck on the secondary YouTube channel. There's another game in that gameplay as well. So if you want some more action with this deck, secondary YouTube channel is Will GG2. Link, of course, will be in the description. So I didn't hit too many of the matchups where I feel like this card really uh really shines like the guardian matchup can be good against chi and pow as well of course but the chi and pow i played against in the gameplay was playing a rotom build they weren't even playing the b bearer bullet so i wasn't really able to, able to really abuse it um, but i think there's still some potential for this alongside sableye obviously so i have some of those in here so it's abusing the iron valiant ex we're attacking heavily with sableye and then we have the technical machine de evolution in here uh as well so like i said iron valiant is kind of just replacing dragonite and raikou as a heavy hitter but it has some more utility with it because of the tachyon bits but i didn't get rid of four seal stone I still have one of those in here alongside a Pidgeot V, and I do have two Town Store in here as my Stadium of Choice to help find the TM Devo in the future Booster Energy Capsule for the uh, Iron Valiant, which increases its damage from 200 to 220 and also gives it free retreat. So we can like end our turn by going like Switch Cart into Iron Valiant, put two damage somewhere on our opponent's board, wherever it makes sense, and then retreat the Iron Valiant to Sableye for turn and then attack with Sableye and spread damage on our opponent's board. So. That's kind of the uh, the functionality of all that. So I was like, well, if we're playing Town Store, Forest Seal Stone's kind of good. We should probably play a Forest Seal Stone. And we don't really want to play a V Pokemon that I could think of in the moment. I still haven't been able to come up with one that's worth playing. So we just threw a Pidgeot V in there. It's like, if you have two Town Stores in your deck, how are you not playing Forest Seal Stone, right? And it's been pretty good, so I don't think I would cut it. Uh, four Comb Fee, two Iron Valiant, one Cram, one Greninja. We play Water and Psychic Energy as our energy. Greninja is the more aggressive attacker in the deck between our Mirage Gate attackers of the Iron Valiant and the Greninja. And sometimes we could attack with Pidgeot V. I don't know when that would happen. So I play five Water, four Psychic because of that, because Iron Valiant comes up towards the late game, mid to late game. Greninja could be like turn two, we're trying to do a Moonlight Shrugan. So I'm a little bit heavier on the Waters than I am on the Psychics because of that. But it's pretty easy to attack turn two with the Valiant or the Radiant Greninja with the uh, five, four split. Uh, Greninja, man, if you of course to protect our bench from other Radiant Greninjas. I do have three Sableye in here because it is such an important attacker and chaining them. It's a lot easier with three than two, especially with how often we lost zone a Sableye. It happens, yeah, it happens pretty often. So <laughs> three Sableyes in here for that. For the supporters, four Colrus, and we are attacking our opponent's bench and going after our opponent's bench pretty aggressively with damage spread from the Tachyon Bits and Sableye, and then de-evolving our opponent's Pokemon with the Technical Machine de-evolution. So I don't play any Gust Effects in here. I don't think you need them. If they put something big up in the active, knock it out with Iron Valley. If they don't put up anything big, Hit him with the Sableye. They got some small stuff on the bench. They don't have Manaphy. Hit him with the Greninja. Um, so I also have two Rocks and in here on top of the uh, Courses Experiment just for some heavy late game draw power plus disruption. That combos really well with Technical Machine Devolution and the Sableye. For Switch Cards, four Switch Cards, four Escape Up. Could definitely see adding a few more to get some more uses out of the Iron Valiant. We do need to get into the Iron Valiant and then retreat it out. So we do need effectively like an extra Switch Card to work with. So I could see trying to fit some more Switch Cards in here. Uh, four Battle VIP Pass, of course. Three Nest Ball. Wouldn't hate a fourth Nest Ball. Three Super Rod. Would not hate a fourth Super Rod. That's for sure. Uh, heavy Ball in here, of course. We are a Lost Zone deck. Just kind of makes sense. And I got two Lost Vacuum in here as well. So we can be a little bit more aggressive about getting to that 10 in the Lost Zone. I was pretty easily 
getting to turn two, 10 in the loss zone when we go first. So that didn't feel too difficult at all. We didn't want to do it every single game, but the matchups I really reached for it, I was able to pull it off pretty consistently. So the vacuums, yeah, definitely a big deal in helping us get there. So yeah, two lost vacuum in here as well. And that's it. That's the experimental build of this lost box. Iron Valiant, technical machine, de-evolution build. There's still a lot more cooking that can be done with this build specifically, but there's so much stuff to try with lost box right now. Yeah, there's just a lot to try out with Lost Box right now. Lost Box definitely isn't dead. It's not as good as it was. Iron Hands does make some matchups a lot harder or almost just unfavorable or just flat out terrible. Uh, but Iron Hands isn't in every deck and it's not as popular as uh, some people made it out like that it would be. So still a lot of hope for Lost Box in the current meta. Before we get into the action, I demonstrate how to execute a board lock in the mirror match. And I do make quite a few mistakes in the gameplay, but learn from them and don't make them yourself. Um, yeah, before we get into that though, uh, if you guys have any bulk Pokemon TCG cards that you're looking to get rid of and to get some cash for, then TCG Bulk has got you covered for that. Go check out TCGBulk.com. They're a service that connects people who want to buy TCG Bulk with people who want to sell TCG Bulk. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of bulk Pokemon cards that you don't need anymore and don't want anymore. So head over to TCGBulk.com or go over to the apple app store or the google play store and download the app and start getting rid of your tcg bulk today right now do it i know you have it get rid of it and with that said let's go ahead and let's board lock a mirror match hmm <clears throat> not what we're looking for man well i have no idea what the matchup is i guess i'll go for the valiant though yeah i have no idea what the matchup is but we'll go for the valiant sure um Honestly, I'll just start to set it up. That seems fine. I don't know. I could have like retreated and done 20 damage to the Manaphy. That would have been something as well, I guess. Yeah, no po early Pokemon search is rough, but we'll see what we can do. We will see. I taste pretty bad versus Charizard and Salamence. Salamence has felt fine, to be honest. I don't know. Salamence seemed like a fine matchup with the Radiant Charizard at the end. Charizard seems like a bad matchup, though. I'd ex yeah, Charizard seems like a bad matchup. Um... That one seems interesting. <clears throat> Oof. Man, this is a really rough, rough start to have against another Lost Zone deck. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> unless they like whiff. Uh, fighting energy, huh? Yeah, unless they like whiff here, I guess. If they whiff like turn one cram. They didn't get cram off the thing. Switch card. Okay. So that wasn't a card or an escape rope, which is interesting. So they play switches on top of well they could be cutting back on escape ropes i guess yeah, they could be cutting back on it there's an escape rope yeah cram punching this does not sound good i really don't want cram to punch my guy <laughs> please do not get turn on cram i think i'm i feel like i'm asking a lot for them to not get turn on cram but i'm gonna catch your beach court sure sure i guess that lets me retreat my valiant i guess i can do that now um <laughs> Yeah, I guess I can retreat to my comfy now. Nothing else? No. Well, they haven't played cores yet, so they still only have three in the loss zone. It'd be funny if they bench a fourth comfy here, and then I just don't attack anything for the rest of the game. Good meme. Oh, who the heck, bro? I gotta. Re oh, they're not gonna bench it though. <clears throat> Slither who, bro? What? <laughs> All right. Slither who? Slither what? Pidgeot is honestly like okay. Switch card honestly. Well, I could put Pidgeot. I could like retreat to the Pidgeot and then just kind of chill. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, do I value the escape rope more? I don't even know if the four seal stones in the deck or not. So Pidgeot becomes really bad if it's not. I'm just gonna go for these three, I guess. I mean, I really need more Pokemon here though. Where are my pokes at? the blokes at Ain't another comfy here well i'm gonna go for the town store here i'll bump well now i wish i had my pidgeot <laughs> now i wish i had my pidgeot but i shouldn't thin out the deck here i don't know if they're gonna be able to take advantage of this or not <clears throat> and now i wish i had my pidge how many do i have in here four do i need another comfy man where are my comfies at um Already retreated. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting game for sure. I'm curious of what they play for attackers. 
Recyclers? This guy trying to ogre? Oh, did they have Recycler? Oh, they did. Is it so it is it has to be Kyogre then, right? Well, it makes no sense to not be Kyogre. Like it's probably Kyogre then. It would make no sense if it wasn't Kyogre. <clears throat> So how many do I have in here now? Four, five, six. Oh yeah, Comfy Comfy, seven, eight, and then vacuum nine, ten, I guess. Sure. Oh now they're bench locked though. They just bench locked themselves. Okay, now we keep them bench locked. Now I'm gonna make it I'm gonna cook them with the bench lock here for sure. I'm not letting him get away. I'm not, I'm not letting them get out of this. They might I mean if they play like a Turo. <laughs> if they if they play a Turo, they got me. Congratulations. Is my Manaphy in here? Bro, you schmuck. All right, I do have the heavy ball at least. Um, okay. Let's see, so I'm at four. Honestly, I can let my my thing take a hit. Oh, okay, that's a pretty good draw. Like retreat to a new one, let it take a hit. Heavy ball, Manaphy. Let's take down the rest. Oh my, no! Can I even? Oh, I don't need to use Greninja. Oh, I would actually like to use Greninja. All right, we can use Greninja. The other. Holy smokes. <laughs> water, water, vac, stadium. Water, 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 Manaphy. Oh, not Manaphy anymore. We got Heavy Ball there. Panic, bro. I was like, oh my gosh, the whole squad. It's fine, though. It's fine. Actually, is it fine? I do play five water. Okay, I do play five water. What am I sitting on the last on Six? And boom. What's in here? Six. Okay, so I can go. Bench Manaphy. Bench Iron Valiant. Streets. And then just put two on Manaphy. And then attach here. <clears throat> and then pass. I'll just save my other booster. Um, yeah, we're just playing a really slow game now. Um, <clears throat> yeah. We're just gonna chill, we're just gonna chill. <clears throat> Big chillin'. Have I tried Metacham here? No, I don't think Metacham makes much much sense in this deck. You can just like get, you should be able to just like pull the, I'd rather play more Switch cards before I play Metacham, I think. Just get more damage that way, that's like fine. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but we literally just win right now. To be honest, I think it's fair for them to literally concede. I am not losing this game. I refuse to lose this game at this point. Unless they play some weird stuff. If they play some weird stuff, I could lose. But if they don't play anything weird, then we literally, the game is over. Um, it's possible that they play some weird stuff though. <clears throat> possible, possible, possible. But if they play nothing weird, the game is, the game ended when they bench locked themselves. We'll see though. I have one comfy. I guess I got to think about Echoing Horn a little bit here, but. Like next time I'm gonna, so next time I'm gonna, they're gonna hit me with Cram. I'm gonna attack with Greninja and just do 90 to their Cram. Um, if they do nothing, I'm just going to sit here and retreat between Valiants and put 20s. <laughs> and I'll just beat them by doing 20-20 over and over. And then I board wipe them. Why is bench lock so bad? You'll see. Just wait. Just wait and watch. I'm not going to explain why ben board lock is. You're about to see why board lock is so bad. <clears throat> You're about to see why board lock is so bad. Yeah, they messed up big time. You messed up big time, buddy. And now you're going to pay. I guess that one's like more likely to be useful. Yeah, they're both like useless at this point. Um... <sighs> Chorus. Um. It's only at six, so I actually need, I need the vacuum. Roxanne doesn't really matter. Um, but it could, but I have two Roxanne. <sighs> um. I need the VAC to get to 10 next turn for Sableye though. I want this energy for Sableye. Okay, we just do this. Just like trying to think about it all in my head. Um, so go eight. A Psychic left. Switch card to heal this. <clears throat> I'll get 20 off of this guy. I'll put the 20 on. It doesn't really matter where I put this 20. Cause they're gonna be able to use their switch cards as much as they want. But I guess I could spread it out. It doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna put it there. Um, 
keep the whole hand the way it is. Honestly, I could vacuum. A well, I have one more force seal, so I could get out of my deck first, actually. I should do 90 to the active here. I don't even want to bench my save because they could play like boss. I could concealed cards this energy actually away. I do need cards. I probably should concealed cards this away actually. I should have done that earlier, of course, but <clears throat> my shrukin. And we should do just 90 active. Because the mana few protects the bench, but that's fine. And now we go into Save Eye. And the reason we do this with the Greninja is because we're not giving up. We aren't giving up a prize card. So they're gonna punch my Greninja here. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna retreat my Greninja to Sableye. I'm gonna Sable Eye next turn. And then they just lose the game. Because then I save lie, save lie, save lie, save lie. I do have to find another save lie, to be honest, which I don't have. Um, that would have been a reason to keep the Roxanne around, actually, to be honest. I didn't really need the escape rope, to be honest. I shouldn't have taken the escape rope. I should have taken the Roxanne over the escape rope there for sure. So I definitely messed that up. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. <clears throat> should have done that a little bit differently. It's not a huge deal, but it's definitely a mistake. Definitely a mistake. Um, yeah. A mistake, huh? It's fine though. Switch card. Yeah, now they're just gonna start to burn switch cards, but that's fine. Like I said, I can even just like sit between two iron valiants for a turn as well. I can just like iron valiant for a turn back and forth. Oh, here come the carts. They're down two carts. They still, they still, they have four carts. Maybe, maybe no, they have one cart left. They only have one cart left, so we should be good as long as I can actually chain stabilize. But actually, currently, I'm not in a good, great position to chain stabilize. Um, I'm out of Chorus. No, I have one Chorus, one. I really should have taken the Roxanne over the Escape Rope, to be honest. <clears throat> yeah, I really should have taken the Roxanne over the Escape Rope, is what I should have done there. That was a mistake, too. The way I did it was a mistake, for sure. <clears throat> okay. Roxanne was definitely the play. Let's see, what do we have left? Table I, Roxanne, Chorus. Okay, it's all in here. One Psychic Energy. Um, hmm. <laughs> a little low on resources. <clears throat> I always have to make sure there's a save light on my bench, to be honest, as well. That's like important to make sure. I can gate out my last psychic energy. Um, I have time though, as well. Wait, do I even have the, I have eight, so I have to get to... Oh wait, I can get rid of, no, I should get rid of this actually. Well, no, let's get rid of, uh, no, let's get rid of a, uh, let's get rid of a comfy. <clears throat> Nine, 10. Then I guess I have to gate the psychic out. It's not that big of a deal. I see my top deck to be good, but I can use a comfy next turn as well. So it's not that big of a deal either. <clears throat> we just lost mine. I can like retreat between the things for a couple turns as well. Six and six doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter where the damage goes. I just need to not KO anything. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter where the damage goes. I just need to put it somewhere. <clears throat> and then, yeah, I could just like chill between the Valiants for a couple turns, to be honest. That'd be fine. Um, should you have card to play around boss? It's a good question, actually, Slab. I probably should have. I think you're right. I should have, yeah. I should have carded to play around boss. I might hide behind Greninja for a turn here, to be honest. Um, we'll see. Let's see what I top deck. Oh. This is getting a little weird. <laughs> I don't have any draw power. Um, switch card to this guy. I guess I'll put 20 on another Comfy. Yeah, I definitely could have played this like smoother overall. I'm gonna go into a Comfy here. I don't mind. I don't know if they play boss, so they, they have a recycler in there, so I actually think there's no boss. <clears throat> so I have the rock sand now. I'm just gonna escape rope into Greninja and pass though. Cause I don't want to give them a. I could escape rope. No, no, I'm escape rope into Greninja. I'll let them punch a Greninja for a turn. Oh wait, I kind of have to super rod though. Otherwise, I could echo and horn my comfy. Yeah, so I have to super rod here. Otherwise, I can echo and horn my comfy, and that'd be bad. Maybe should just have given him the comfy as a prize card, to be honest. Um, so I could like play the rock sand this next turn. I probably should have to be honest, but now that I'm at this one, I'm just gonna chill. Um, yeah, now I'm just gonna chill. I need to like, I, I may as well let them, I may as well take a turn off at some point to let them hit my Greninja like this. So yeah, I may as well just do that now. <clears throat> I don't think it's like, a bad thing to do it now. All right, there's your last switch card. 
Yeah, I kind of just need to play the rocks in. So this has to happen next turn. Um, no, I don't instead of rocks, I want to be good. We draw prize cards too aggressively, I think. Like this game, obviously, we're not drawing prize cards aggressively, but this is like a unique situation. Um, yeah, it's like a very unique situation. It's not going to happen very often. <clears throat> yeah, this is like not the norm for the deck. We're definitely going to be drawing prize cards more aggressively in other matchups. <clears throat> no, not one of my future booster energy capsules. Actually, that is a little bit annoying. <laughs> they maybe play boss, to be honest. I don't know. I don't, well, I don't know if I healing that or picking up the iron Val or the iron valley on the last round. I don't know how important that was, actually, to be honest. Um, would have been okay. I gotta go into the comfy this turn. I gotta like give them a prize card so I can use Roxanne basically. <clears throat> well, I have, I should go with the Colors here, right? Cause I have two other Sableyes in the deck, I believe. Yeah, we should go with the Colors here for sure. I have the gate so I can like find a psychic. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay, bro. No, you just get the Valiant ping. Just gotta make sure I don't mess up my damage. Two here. And just save a lie. Wait, I already retreated? Wait, when did I retreat? Am I trolling? Oh, I retreated the Greninja. Dude, I literally forgot. <laughs> Wait, that's actually pretty bad. Yeah, I literally forgot that I already retreated. Okay. Lost mine. So we're going to go three, three, three here, three here, three, six that, and then one, one. Is it possible that I could get something stuck in my active now? How many switch cards do I have left? I still have a switch card to escape rope. I have two escape rope and a... Oh my gosh, they're all gone. <laughs> all right, that could get awkward, to be honest. I do have, like, Mirage Gate, a, a super rod, though, so it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, that was that's definitely a bad play. I definitely messed up there, to be honest. Yeah, I definitely messed up. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wanted to keep that switch card around. I literally forgot that I already retreated, though. Um, I just forgot. <clears throat> literally just forgot. Sorry, we can rock it. We're going to go super rod rock sand this turn, so we should be okay. How many can I even KO this turn? One, two, three, four. I can't quite KO everything. I would still like to. So I'm gonna cover recover Sableye. Yeah, recover Sableye double psychic here. Um, do I have another super rod left? This is my last super rod, right? This is my last super rod. Okay. Yeah, Sableye double psychic. Attach, attach, Roxanne. Okay. Sableye, psychic, psychic. S ball, stable eye. What do I have left? I want to play the Mirage Gate. Um, honestly, I should maybe just take the knockouts. What do I have prize? I, I might need those water energy out of the prize cards, to be honest. I'm gonna throw this down. I'm gonna throw this down. Roxanne. Yeah, I might just take the knockouts here, to be honest. I might just board wipe them, go down to one prize card. I think it's probably fine. Like, actually, I might not be able to retreat my Iron Valiant if I don't do that. <laughs> If like they just have boss iron valiant, I can go five one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna go board wipe here because of my situation. Because of the situation. One, one. Usually we'd want to keep them board locked for one more turn, but my resources are interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw five prize cards. I could have played. Maybe I. No, no, no. We're taking the whole squad out. We're just taking them all out. Take the whole squad out. <clears throat> Ideally, you just want to board law for one more turn, but because I burned that switch card like a idiot, then I think we have to be a little bit more aggressive here just to be safe. But now, like, this should, like, give us the win pretty much no matter what. Yeah, pretty much no matter what, this should give us the win. Um, so why I can't wait to see the chat after. <laughs> it's definitely going to be funny for sure. <laughs> oh, they still got a course, though. Um, they got a colder still. Three water surprise. Yeah, we had a lot of water surprise. There's a lot of water surprise. <clears throat> okay, three prize cards. Wait, can they draw three in a turn? 
no 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 <laughs> i got scared for a second i was like oh shoot they have access to sable out here um oh it is a kyogre build there's a kyogre it is a kyogre build the correct a pokestop before course depends what's left in the deck it yeah, depends what's left in the deck depends depends so they're gonna attack with sableye this turn kill my sableye um but yeah we should we have cram so we just have game because they have to take a knockout this turn they have to take a knockout this turn i should have also held this i should have kept the other well i messed that up that's why i ended up attaching it because i messed up i think on my turn at some point um yeah counter catcher canceling cologne Kyogre. i wonder if they play the canceling cologne. they have the counter catcher <clears throat> yeah we're chilling though and if i as long as i didn't top deck the water entry i could always retreat into the cram I got closer than I thought it would, though, to be honest. Well, it's because I just drew so awkwardly in that mid game. Uh, in like the mid game there, I drew so awkwardly. I just like didn't have the resources to chain Sable. I like, mismanaged my resources pretty badly there, though. So it's like on me for sure. But that was a cool game. Or oh, that's like, that's a very good, uh, good game to like. That's why you don't want to do what's it called. <laughs> that's why